Hello everybody. In this video, I got the camera here and I have this clock. When I put under the camera, we can see it. Let's get started with this. In this video, I'm using simple LCD display with the SPI interface. The other side, here yeah, it's uh, ST7735. For the camera, it's very low quality. If you want uh, higher quality, you need to use the other LCD. I have created separate video with this LCD. It's available in the description. It has a very good uh, refresh rate. I have made a separate video which is available in the description when I put it under the camera and it's very fast moving and high refresh rate. I have modified this file ov7670reg.h file for this resolution. The whatever highlighted I modified. This is for my pre previous video with the bigger screen. This is for the smaller screen. The wiring diagram is here. 3.3 volt to 3.3 volt ground to ground like this. Next one. Next one, next one, next one, next, 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 last. The wiring connection is here, this side of the camera, other side of the camera, here. And the wires are going from here to the microcontroller, this side and other side and here and I connected the ST link and to here for the LCD display wiring the pinout is here and the other pinouts are there follow this and pause the video and have a look the wiring connection for the display side is here. The cube ID, we create a new project, HTM32 project. For the part number, I put uh, F407VE. Uh, this is the one. And next, uh, name I put camera. Finish. Uh, we click system core, sys, uh, debug serial wire, click RCC, high speed clock crystal ceramic resonator, also we tick the master clock output and then we select the pin PA8, go below, uh, maximum output speed, we make it very high. We go to clock configuration, we change this to 8 megahertz, 8, enter, and we select the HSE and PLLCLK, and then we change it to maximum 168 megahertz, enter. And we go below, uh, for the camera clock, uh, we make it, uh, we can make P. L LCLK divided by 4 or HSI divided by 1 or HSE divided by 1. I am using this one. Uh, for the bigger screen, we use this one uh, divided by 1. So, it is 8 megahertz. And then, we go to pinout and configuration. We collect, go to connectivity. I2C2 I2C, I2C. And then we select uh, pin 1 and go below. Uh, pull up, we make it pull up. And then PB11 also, we select it and we make it pull up. So both of them pull up. So it's pull up. So the I2C done. Now we go select the SPI one for the display. Mode 
half duplex master. Configuration parameter setting, we change the prescaler to 16. So the baud rate is 5.25. And then we zoom in for the display. We make it these pins PC4, GPIO output, PC5, GPIO output, PB0, GPIO output. So this for the display. So the display section is finished. Now for the camera, we go to multimedia, DCMI, uh, external synchro 8 bits. Configuration, parameter setting, we make it on a rising edge for the clock polarity and vertical is active active high and then select the GPO setting we select all pins all of them PA4 and then we go below and hold the shift button and select this one so all of them are selected so we can see all the pins are blinking for the camera. We go below. Uh, it is pulled down. Pulled down. And the output speed is very high. And then we select the DMA setting. And add. And we select DCMI we select the NVIC, NVIC setting also and we take, tick the global interrupt and then we move these three pins we press and hold this control button and click this and we move it click it and then move it here that one done and also this one control button and press and we move it here and control button press and click the button move it here and also we make PD 11 and 12 as GPIO output 11 and 12 And then PD11, we right click and enter user label. We make it camera reset. Capital, all big letter, C A M E R A underscore reset. Enter. That's all the setting. We can click save to generate the code. Uh, for simplicity, I have given the code in the description. In the website the link is in the description when we go there this is the one the cube id setting we have done it's here all of them are here so go check one by one make sure you've done everything it's very important these are the library file uh, we need to put those files six seven eight files uh, this is in core inc folder these two files are in core SRC folder. So we do one by one. Click this one. We copy the file name. And we go to cube IDE. And expand core. INC folder. Right click INC folder. New. File. And we paste it here. The file name. Finish. Now the contents inside, we go here and start from number line number one, go below until the last line. Copy of all of them, select all of them, copy and go to cube ID and 
we paste it here that's done you can simply click save and close likewise we do all files i do all of them like this and i fast forward the video Now this file done. We do this too in put it into core src folder. Click this one. And copy from here to here. And go to cube IDE and expand the src folder. And right click new file and paste it here. Finish. Whatever the content from beginning until end. We paste it there. Make sure at, until the end of the line. I fast forward and I do the other one also. Now all done. The main dot seal C is here. We put. Uh, some codes in main.c file. So when we go below, these are the code we need to put into the main.c file. We copy from includes from here to here and we go to cube IDE. In the main.c file, we paste it in the same place in the include. And then in user code PV, we copy these two lines and we go to cube IDE. And we paste it in the PV. And then user code 2, we copy this. Paste it here. The while loop, we copy from here until here. So we paste it in the while loop. Now we can save. That's all the code. So what's happening here is we have the library and we included the library header file here. And um, this is the picture buffer. It has a uh, 19,200 pixels. That's by 160, 60 by 120. Um, we initialize the display and we test the display with a rectangle with a red color rectangle and then this is the camera ground pin and this initialize the camera and config the camera we have to stop the uh, capture for the single shot so this is the single shot snapshot i uh, will put the buffer and after 100 millisecond delay we will get the picture so this one has the picture we can transmit or we can display in the LCD. So we go through X and Y 100 until 120 from 100, 0 to 160 and we put pixel by pixel. So that's all. We can save and we can upload the code. Okay. Yeah, it's uploaded. I have uploaded the code. I got the clock underneath here. As we can see, the refresh rate is very slow. So as I told, the other display is better for this one. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any question, write down in the comment section below. I try to answer as much as I can. Thank you. Bye.